All right, so we just landed first real flight in the Just Flight Turbo Arrow at the Orbix Catalina scenery. There is a freeware Catalina that has been fantastic. Like the airport itself has been really good. But this um, Orbix scenery adds a lot of stuff around the island that I really wanted to see. Um, so let's take a little tour of the facilities here to see what kind of details we can see. It's definitely full. Um, there's not really any cars parked up here um, over by the the old hangar. Um, but that, I mean, that looks, that's dead on right there. That is awesome. Catalina Island Conservancy. That looks really cool. Um, not too many TBMs here. But this is, so this is where you enter once you land at Catalina, airport in the sky. So you come in here, landing fee $25, that is actually um, higher now, that has been raised. And flight office, second floor, that's correct. Yeah, this looks, this is awesome. Come in here, Catalina, oh yeah, this is really great. Yeah, they got like these little, um, little posters here with some information on the wildlife and some of the geological features here but yeah this is dead on flight what's happening happy sunday uh wow this is really really well done so you come in here and the first thing you do is go up to the second floor and there should be some stairs here hello people stairs here to the left and yep whoops here yeah that's that is accurate here is the office where you pay the landing fee that's not there okay um wow yeah this is freaking great this is exactly what it looks like oh my god uh yeah that is really crazy holy cow um, so yeah, that's good. That's where you pay the landing fee and then you come down here and these double doors take you into uh, the, the gift shop and restaurant. And we're going to go on the other side after you order your food. You can come out here. God, this is really weird. Juliet, look at this. Isn't that insane? So we usually sit on this on this table right here. Uh, this is not as grown out. Um, the the shrubbery is not really there, so you get a view of all this. It's not really the best view, but you do get to see um, the hill and you know some of the some of the ocean. Uh, wow, that's really really great. Yeah. A absolutely outstanding job on uh, on this yeah I'm in the drone mode right now looking at it yeah god that is really really great it's a little bit more filled in on the ground than it is in real life but everything is there in the right spot that's freaking crazy oh my god airport in the sky yeah that's really crazy and those palm trees are just exactly perfect um, great okay so now let's do the the typical Catalina departure and island tour route um, this is one of the coolest things that you can do in an airplane and let's see how well this Turbo Arrow and Microsoft Flight Sim uh, and the Orbix Catalina um, scenery uh, makes this feel. Let's see how how accurate it is. Can you shut that one? That didn't really help, but that's fine. That's good. Catalina traffic, Aero 204, Lima Echo, taxiing runway 22, Catalina. 
All right, so everything's still running from the last flight. I have to retrim nose down a little bit. Clear to the left. We had two other planes coming in at the same time, but we are clear now. Approaching runway zero four. If two, you two. haven't seen either my video, my the real world video of of this, or me doing this in the sim, it's pretty crazy, and it it gives me like a little. Like, my stomach gets butterflies doing this. It's freaking the coolest thing ever. Um, so that angle looks... This looks a little bit steeper. You're not looking that far down at the ocean, I don't think. So they might have slanted this a little bit more. But... I mean, it looks fantastic. Due to obstruction visibility between runway ends, use of Unicom is mandatory prior to takeoff. Great. So Catalina has a little tabletop to it. Like it does slant up, which I think this is a little bit more exaggerated, and then it kind of levels off at the top. So it, the runway itself, as you're rolling down it, looks shorter than it actually is. So let's see if that uh, is true on this scenery. Catalina traffic, arrow 204, Lima Echo, departing 22, straight out, Catalina. Approaching runway 22. Entered okay. runway 22. 3,000 feet action, remaining. Fuel pumps, let's see here. How does it look? Yeah, so right, that's, that's a, I would say, a more exaggerated version of what it actually looks like. But yeah, it looks, it like looks like that's the end of the runway. So a lot of times people will abort their takeoffs thinking that they don't have enough runway and they do and they end up locking up and rolling off the the other end um, just off of the um, takeoff roll and, and not understanding visually what what you're looking at so let's get this thing and make sure we don't over boost it on takeoff I believe we'll do a static and we're off Lister lives. Welcome. Let's see if I can be a little bit smoother on the rudders here. Your speed is alive. Rotate should be good there. We're up. And one of the only airports in the U.S. where you can take off and immediately be below airport elevation. <laughs> oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever doing this. And we are now below airport elevation. Still out of trim, I didn't have enough nose down trim. Like, just so crazy to take off from off of a runway and then just point the nose down. It's crazy. It's so crazy. But this is a really, really cool tour of Catalina. Barely ever get to see the west side of the island, and it is a geographically a unique, um, unique from the... Uh, the leeward side of the island it's really rocky sharp cliff face um, and just not not a view that most people get to see so flying on the back side looks pretty cool ABC happy Sunday so we're just going to cruise here at 500 feet keep an eye out for helicopters trimmed out so orbix the orbix scenery obviously the airport itself is the hallmark of it um, but the other thing the other touches that they made along uh, really the western coast um, or sorry eastern coast of the island uh, are what sets it apart from the freeware offering that's available for this um, but it also adds to just buying scenery pack 
Um, uh, what's up, uh, Brandon? What do you use for model matching on the networks? Uh, that's all done through Pilot Edge. Um, they X-Plane, they have a great CSL pack. Uh, they don't really have a very deep um, system with Microsoft yet. Uh, so it just depends on what sim you're using. Um, and that, that will improve, I'm sure. It took time for the CSLs to be added to uh, X-Plane as well. But this is 700 feet. We've got, you know, we're, we're hauling ass as well. But if, you know, if there are any fishing boats, any divers or anything, we're giving them our allotted 500 feet. Yeah, I this is the first time that I've tried the the turbo arrow. Uh, I use the the regular arrow in both X plane and now in Microsoft, and it really is a great it's a great plane. I fly an Archer in real life, and the panel is almost identical, so it's a it's just a slightly faster version uh, of the plane that I fly, which makes it that much more enjoyable to fly, and. This, the textures, the sounds, the way it feels. It's a really it's a really great add-on. Uh, going back to Orbix, uh, Avalon is the actual main city, main, you know, like downtown of Catalina. And they've added a, a bunch of 3D models to Avalon and I'm excited to see that. We'll probably do a couple of um, couple of orbits around Avalon and check it out a little bit because um, I think they did a. Uh, it looks like they did a really good job. How many times a month would I need to fly in real life a month to feel comfortable? You think if I practice daily in the sim? Uh, it depends on what kind of practicing ABC. Um, you could you could have poor practice <laughs> but really uh, the sim will only help with communication navigation and procedures it's not going to help at all and should be completely dismissed as being able to help at all with hand flying the airplane landing maneuvers takeoffs just anything that has to do with feel uh, it should not be. We're going to give this corner a little bit of a wide berth here just in case there's a helicopter coming around a little bit tight. We just give them a little bit of a, a little bit a little bit of space coming around this blind corner here. But you you know so much of flying is navigation and ADM and communicating with ATC and all that kind of stuff that if you do practice that um, with the simulator, it can definitely uh, help focus your time on the, the, the feel part, the stick and rudder parts of flying that, um, that you don't get from longer times in between flying. So does it relate to the real world aircraft? Well, I found the XP Turbo kind of twitchy. Yeah, yeah it depends, Lister. Like, not not really it doesn't like like kind of like a piggybacking on what i was saying about comfortable flying in the real world it's it's completely different like the real real world flying really does not feel like this you I mean it's a rough approximation of what a plane should perform like but the feeling the sensations the feedback all that stuff is going to be really really tough to um, replicate in the sim the, the performance numbers seem to be pretty accurate for the type of plane that it is. That's about as much as I could say about it. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. In a real in the real plane, you will never need any left rudder taking off, and in this, you constantly need left rudder. <laughs> so there's things that are just not accurate at all, but it's okay. All right, let's take a look. What we got here. So first off, we have a little cruise ship. That looks cool. So the harbor is filled with boats. That is new. The town looks pretty good. Looks the same. There's the casino. Oh, dude, that looks so great. Yeah, that's awesome. You're guessing an hour, a month, or two hours wouldn't cut it. Hey, dude, it depends on what you're going for. Yeah. Oh, all that though, that resort too. Yeah, we're a little bit close to that. Um, that is awesome. I can't remember what that resort is called. I mean, ABC, my, my feeling is fly as much as you can afford to fly. If it's, if it's two hours a month, then fly two hours a month. It's not, it's not an efficient way to learn how to fly or to get your license at all. Um, but if that's as much as you can fly, then fly that amount. <laughs> like, just whatever, whatever the maximum is, do that. <laughs> it, it's the the alternative is not flying, and I don't think that is much of an alternative at all. Yeah, it does have a Saint Bart's feel to it. That's so good. Yeah, that looks really sweet. The the boat variety looks really good. Yeah, that's that's freaking awesome. Whoa, wrong way, wrong way. Reverse sensing. <laughs> sensing there I'm doing PPL was advised to fly at least twice per week yeah I mean it's it depends on what the um, what the goal is adventure you know like if you want to get your private license and spend as little as possible um, you know just be as efficient about it as possible yeah that's probably pretty pretty good advice um, but a, you know the same the same thing like what what are you trying to do are you um, are you just trying to fly at all are you trying to you know because part of it was the budget you know like nobody buys a car based on the price of the car you know it's like okay well how much does it cost per month um, you know they don't care if they have a 15% APR rate on the on the the car loan they'll like okay yeah, i can afford five hundred dollars um over time it's going to cost you more because of the interest but you can actually pay for it you don't have fifty thousand dollars sitting around so how do you pay for it well you tack on interest and you you know average it out over you know per month same with flying like okay you don't you may not have fifteen thousand dollars just in cash to hammer out your private license but can, you know, do you have 500 a month? Sure. The interest on that is ability and how much you're going to retain and how how much you're going to uh, learn in that time versus flying, uh, you know, twice twice uh, uh, twice a week or whatever. Sim Caesar, thank you so much for uh, for the raid. Welcome everybody from Sim Caesar's stream. Um, uh, Sim, I was in the the Goshawk, following you guys. It was showing up, I think, on your stream as like whatever, like the generic, um, the generic airliner. But yeah, that was the the T forty five. Right? No, right? Yeah, T forty five, Goshawk. Um, yeah, dude, I was uh, I was doing some sim maintenance stuff, and I saw that you were streaming. I was just like watching you. I was like, I want to see what these guys are up to. So that was that was a lot of fun. Um, 
but yeah so adventure that's kind of what i um the way i looked at it at you know like whatever you can afford however much you can afford to fly fly that amount and that's it i mean there's no other there's no other real nothing really more to say on it than that just fly as much as you can so if you can if you can't fly twice per week for financial reasons for time reasons what are you going to do not fly um i don't i don't think so right like you're just going to fly by the way that's the approach end of the of of 22 and you can actually see planes landing above you um you know obviously if a plane is coming in and i think this is one of the only airports where you can actually fly underneath the arrival end of the airport approach end of the of the airport it's it's pretty hilarious um yeah this this is the uh, catalina um the new orbix catalina uh so yeah that's kind of my my thought on on that uh abc you know fly as much as you can as much as you want to <laughs> yeah delorean the catalina effing wine mixer um and you, I know you were talking about um, flying, you know, not actually training, like actual, if you have your private. Um, and yeah, I would say, yeah, you, you know, you're just uh, sharpening your skills at that point. Sim, thank you so much for the gifted sub to DeLorean. Welcome. That is awesome of you, Sim Caesar. You guys were, were ripping around there for a while. That's awesome. So let's see. We're still on CTAF and see if we can. Oh, here's here's a little. Um, this is this is a little story time thing that's pretty funny. So right here, this is called Two Harbors. Uh, this part of Catalina, and I went camping for the first time. Um, uh, Gavin Gavinger, welcome. Uh, we were camping here for the first time, and it was horrible. It was a very bad experience for me. And we camped right up on that little, I don't know, outcrop there. Um, this island, this little white island right here, that is white because it's covered in bird crap. And we went snorkeling, and we were snorkeling over in this area, roughly. Uh, so we took a little kayaks, we came out here, we went snorkeling, and my friend and I thought it would be a good idea to swim over here it didn't look like it was that far it's like two miles it like we actually went back and measured it and it's like a two mile swim and we just we were so exhausted with our snorkel gear and we ended up getting picked up by a pretty badass fishing boat and then dropped off over at the actual shore but that every time i um, fly to catalina because we usually depart this way like we climb up and then turn over at two harbors um, just to gain altitude I always see that stupid frickin' island, and it reminds me of almost drowning off the coast of Catalina. Frickin' hilarious. Catalina traffic, arrow 204, Lima Echo, five miles to the northwest. We're gonna uh, enter a right base for the overhead brake, runway 22, Catalina. So between the highly detailed actual airport, uh, much, much improved Avalon, um, boats, you know, kind of the just the, the maritime traffic or whatever, uh, and it's on sale right now for, I think it's $17. It's, I mean, that's a, like a little expensive for this type of airport, but if you have Pilot Edge, this is a really fun place to go and the scenery is spot on like really freaking good um all right let's see if we can do this break a little bit better now that we're not super super high catalina traffic aero 204 lima echo three mile initial for the overhead break right traffic two two catalina and i just i love that departure getting shot off the end it's so good. Uh, the audio, the exclamation point, holy S, 
that audio was taken from the first time um, my instructor took me to Catalina. That audio cue was my was my reaction to doing that. It was it's so ridiculous. Catalina traffic arrow two zero four Lima Echo one mile initial runway two two Catalina. a nice 500 foot break holy s dude yeah that's that's getting shot off the catalina aircraft carrier the uss catalina it's crazy dude it's so crazy catalina traffic arrow 204 lima echo half mile initial runway 22 right traffic catalina oh yeah we're first i'm fly <laughs> I'm pilot. Short Frickin final runway two two. Uh, homie, it's it's not super difficult. Catalina traffic arrow two zero four on the right break two two Catalina. The airport ops guy loves loves these breaks. So we're gonna roll slowly roll back the power. We're gonna get it right to the gear speed. That's close enough. Gear down. The Bonanza gear comes down at freaking a million miles an hour, so it makes it makes doing this way easier because it's it is just like a speed break. Oh yeah, yeah, Catalina definitely does. Yeah, they do not like straight in departures, and they will tell you. We strongly discourage straight. In. Freaking insane. Catalina traffic, arrow, four lima echo, short final two two Catalina. I have no idea what my speed is. There's a nice little drone there. Don't balloon it. Look at that. That was a little bit better than the than the first time. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh dude. Oh man. Yeah, so these are these are Nordo drone traffic guys. He didn't, um, <laughs> he did not abide by the, the placard sign at the end of the runway. You could not see me on the runway. Catalina traffic, arrow 204, Lima Echo, clear 22, Catalina. This is a good combination. Approaching runway 04. Thank you very much for flight. This is a really good combination. The Just Flight Arrow and this Orbix Catalina. Holy crap. Freaking just so good. So good. Before we take off again, uh, we need to test the high altitude capabilities of this thing. Uh, I'm going to show you this departure uh, by the way, this is this is where you park now. Is here in the dirt. They like when they redid the runway. Um, this is kind of just like a gravel little parking lot here. Okay, put that there. Um, I want because this this video is does a really good job of showing how freaking crazy that drop off is this was this was the the very first time coming to Catalina too which is like hello freaking Catalina uh, let's do hey, bird. Whoa, buddy. buddy Lister 
lives thank you so much for the subscription welcome uh that is that is awesome that's a a day one follow sub that's that's freaking cool uh okay so here we go this is a bonanza 836 departing catalina and it's hilarious there you go. Ready to go. All right. So again, we'll go. Uh, have on traffic. One, two, we'll go the low altitude tour around the, <laughs> the farm, right? So this is one of the few airports where you can actually take off and descend. <laughs> so that's what we'll do. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Catalina traffic of Bonanza. Departing runway two two will be a straight out with a left turn out at the coast. Catalina. All right, lights are coming on. And we'll do a uh, soft field takeoff, just so you can see what it looks like in this airplane. Cool, yeah. And this is before the resurface. That. So it's, remember it's we talked thing. about Look the at that. military select switch? Right, oh yeah. So there's that. So you're on 10? Yeah, about 15-ish degrees. 15. Okay. That yeah, this outside. is Brad. Yeah, this is the first time back. I met Brad in person. Nice and easy. This is what we did. And this <laughs> is full back? Yeah, this is all the way back. Okay. And we're just letting that power come in. Nose is getting light. Yeah, wow. Do you see how it looks now? like the runway ends? Oh, there it is. So nose is off the ground. I'm just yeah, letting it accelerate with the nose off the ground. Right down, one, two, two. Letting it fly. All right, it's flying. Oh, yeah, it does look like that airport. See, it looks like you're running out, Yeah, right? it does but look like not. that. Wow. So we're out of runway. You're swinging. Lights off. Holy ass, dude. Yeah, cold short. Two, two, you guys ready to go? <laughs> Flaps are coming up. Okay, uh, six about, turn short, right base, oh two, full stop, deadly. What? Oh, pretty cool, right? It's what in the world was freaking that? Freaking insane, dude. So we've just taken off. We are still at airport elevation, mind you. <laughs> it's so crazy. And we're about 500 AGL now. It feels well, that's like... that's as close as you're going to get to a carrier cat shot. Pretty much. In a general yeah. aviation plane. Good heavens. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Cool, right? Unbelievable. It's man. just like you're just going off of a cliff. So now, down this low, you're abiding by the 500 feet from any person, property, or vessel rule. So okay. I've got some settlements over here to the left that I'm avoiding. Okay. So that was a standard soft field right up until we got airborne. Normally, soft field, once you get airborne, you level off, let it accelerate. Accelerate up to about VX-ish, VX to EY, depending upon the situation. Yeah. Most soft fields are also short, so typically you're going to do a VX climb. Uh, so, to get into VX, get it climbing, clear the obstacles, then the flaps come up. This uh, what we do. This, this was a cool video. This is like the first time this, Actually, like I ended up, more like Brad and yeah, I are, yeah. like was one of my best friends and my instructor. I had just met him. And here you go. You see this little device right here? Well, I'm going to show you something what is, right who now. Who cares, dude? Now some people are Thank you. northbound monetization. Uh, so, um, but yeah, so he's he's now my, you know, wow, that's a great shot. My instructor. He's one of my best friends, but this is the, the very first time. That, Been on that uh, a couple times, pretty yeah. cool. Porpoises following you. Um, first time that we flew together. So it's not a great shot of Catalina. Like I just had the one, the one GoPro in there. We, Boat there. we should get some 360 footage of this at some point. Is that yeah, resort? They're just gonna come in here about six o'clock, seven o'clock tonight. Yeah, we really lucked out on it. It's like crazy clear. Yeah, it's nice today. So, so can, we'll stay low up. You can kind of see the planes. Instagram with these pictures <laughs> flying over us here. The way it should be. Yeah. There's the final travel. Oh yeah! Wow. Yeah. So that's a really crappy picture of the plane on final for two two directly over That us. is a very interesting perspective of it because yeah. it did not seem like it was that high when you're up there. Right. Or I should so very, very weird, but super cool.